Hey everyone, I have them up and running and uh, they appear to be working really good. A couple little snags as I was getting everything switched out, but nothing terrible. Uh, the first impressions as I got them up and running and when I had them hooked up to the PV is they are a bit louder than the LV6548s. they They've got more, was it CFM? So there's more cooling capacity. So they are a bit louder with the fans, not much but it is slightly noticeable. It doesn't really matter to me out in the shop, but uh, just thought I'd mention it. Uh, and then I can show you over here, the LV6548s. I'll show you down here. We get a look at the terminals. This is four gauge wire and it does fit, but boy, you, it takes, you really got <laughs> You can get it in, but it is not easy. And this is the way the LVs still come and the Sun Gold models. And there's a couple other, I think there's Orient Power does one now too. There's a bunch of different people that use these since it's from, uh, was it Voltronic that builds them? But uh, EG4, from what I've seen, is the only one so far that has the larger terminals and the lugs for the ground. So that was nice. Uh, during the installation, that was much easier. The PV inputs for the new EG4s are nice, except for these shrouds they have that they had manufactured. They don't leave enough space for a half inch coupling. So if I were them, it only needs another eighth inch rather than having people like have to taper it out with their own bit. And I just have the conduit actually going into the, so it just fits accommodates a conduit but it needs a, a space for a coupling so I don't know why they didn't do that because unless people want to use this straight PV wire going in and that these are UL listed and that was the point of getting that switched out then if I were them I would have it just a little bit bigger to accommodate a half inch coupling because that's the most common thing people are going to be putting the PV uh, feeds the inputs into the units so it should be able to accommodate a half inch coupling in each one so i mean it works here with the conduit for me but i'm saying for you know it seems like they would do that it would it would be a better idea uh, and a lot easier for everyone i've got the screens in the house like i had the last time so they are running with the cat5 cable cat6 I don't know which one I got here. Just the Amazon cable all the way to the house. And then I have the, the screens in the laundry room. So yeah, everything is up and running. So far, so good. The uh, There's a couple different menu options that are besides just the EG4 protocols and different things. There's a couple different things in there that were, that I guess an upgrade, but nothing major, nothing huge. Everything else was basically the same as the LVs so not a bad setup overall and I'll, go, I'll keep you guys posted the bypass is something I want to test I'm not going to test it today but test it sometime soon and make sure the automatic transfer switch and all the software still works good with all that so I'll keep you guys posted thanks for watching